In this video, I want to show you how you can share Power BI reports to multiple users easily using security groups in Azure Active Directory. I want to show you how you can set it up step by step and also how you can reuse it to take advantage of dynamic role level security. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So before we go to the demo, I want to show you a real life scenario in which this becomes a problem. So here I have a report in the service, the grocery cost analysis, and I used it in previous videos, which just analyzes or gets data from a SharePoint site, SharePoint lists, um, and puts it into a report here. And sharing this report is pretty easy, especially if you're sharing it individually. So all you need to do is hit share. And if you want to share with specific people, you just click here and you define what they should have access to and you hit apply you type the names here uh, let's say we want to share it to John and that's all you need right so you send it to them and they will have access to this but the problem comes when you have to share this report to multiple people um, and I'm talking hundreds or thousands of people at once and just doing it individual like this is not a sustainable solution for you so you want to find a way to uh, bulk share this report to those groups without having to do it one by one and this is where security groups comes in it lets you assign those people into a group in which you can share this report to that group so that they all have access to the reports instead of having to do it individually here in Power BI. And in order to take advantage of this feature, you need to have access to the admin portal of Office 365. I covered a video uh, of how to get a free E5 license to test it out. So check it out if you haven't yet. So if you have access to the admin portal, this is how it would look like. Uh, and to create a security group, you need to go to groups, active groups. And from here, you can add groups on top of what you currently have already. So if you hit add group, we will create a security group here. We'll name this group uh, Power BI, Power BI group. And we'll hit next. We will create the group for now. We we'll hit close. So here's our security group. Let's click on it. And let's add some members to it, right? So let's add a couple of members here. Click add and you'll see that we have some options here so we can add uh, let's say let's add me Jane and John uh, but if you have hundreds of users you can use it to manage the group to add or remove people uh, right here on the admin center so now that we've assigned it, them to this group now if we go back to Power BI here and the grocery cost analysis reports we can uh, go to that again and we hit share and specific people once again and here instead of typing individual people uh, to give access to you can add the group instead so if I type Power BI you'll see that it shows up here uh, the other one shows up probably because I created the test one previously and that's it so now you are able to give bulk access to these people in the group what's great is that because now you're using this group you can create multiple reports and use the same group to give access which means that in the future if you want to remove or add people into this group of people that should have access to the report you can do it all at once in the office 365 admin center instead of having to manage them individually in those reports now that i've shown you how you can share multiple reports easily in power bi i want to show you how you can take advantage of this feature with your dynamic rls so in a previous video where i covered dynamic rls you had 
to create just one role which gives people permission to uh, have access to the data sets and the data set is the one that filters what these people should have access to so it applies a security filter to your data set but the problem with that is that you need to assign the people that need to have access to the report regardless of what level of uh, access they should have um, and let me show you what that means so here is the RLS report that uh, we've created for that previous demo. Uh, I want to just open the related content and open the data set here. If I hit security settings here, you see um, we added John Smith here. Um, and if I didn't add John here in the role level security, if he accesses this report, even if I've shared the report to him, he won't have access to the data sets. And obviously we have this same problem here again. We have to add people individually in this list in order to share uh, the, the permissions to multiple people. But now with this groups, instead of typing individuals, we can also now type or, or add the uh, security group. So we can add the group here and that should enable the role level security and give people access to the report that this is applied to, which is great. So that was a pretty short video, but basically we covered how you can share reports uh, to bulk users using security groups in uh, Office 365. And taking advantage of this role level security, you're able to assign uh, groups of people instead of individual people within your roles. And that's really it for this video. I hope it helped you understand how easy it is to start sharing your Power BI reports to multiple users all at once. Leave a like in this video if it helped you. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that I included in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching, guys. See you again on the next one.